All right, welcome back to Solve Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's question is, how much protein do you really need to build muscle? Not based on some bro science or somebody who just works out, but really based on randomized control studies, based on good, solid quality evidence going on. So as you know, when it comes to protein, it's basically composed of 20 amino acids, nine of which are considered to be essential. And those are things like phenylalanine, tryptophan, lysine, histidine, 309, methionine, and of course, the three most important ones, which are the branch chain amino acids, the leucines, the isoleucines, and the valine going on. Now, if you look at some of the guidelines that have been published, for example, the 20 to, uh, 2020 to 2025 dietary guidelines, what they basically say is that for essentially healthy adults, you really ought to aim for about 10 to 35% of your calories from protein going on. If you look at the recommended dietary allowance, that's about 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. But remember, the RDA is really built around making sure that you're not getting malnourished or cachectic going on, but it's not really looking for people who are trying to build muscle, which is what today's topic is all about. So let's kind of look at some of the evidence going on and see what really makes sense as far as that goes. So there's a systematic uh, review and meta-analysis of randomized trials that was published in Nutrition Reviews in 2021. And what they did was they ended up looking at about 105 studies. They had about 5,400 participants. And what they found was that protein intake ranges from about 0.5 all the way up to 3.5 grams per kilogram would actually support increases in lean body mass. Now, why such a variable range? Because the younger you are, the easier it is to put on muscle. The older you get, the harder it is to put on muscle going on. But what was really interesting was that what the researchers saw in this particular study was that if you gradually increase your protein intake, even by as little as 0.1 gram per kilogram per day going on, that could actually be enough to help increase muscle mass going on. So in other words, if you're just starting a weightlifting program, you may want to go up slowly on the protein, but little by little increasing that protein intake with muscle building or strength training could actually help out with increasing muscle mass. Now, we still haven't asked answer the question of how much protein you really need. So according to this study, what they found was that the rate of increase in lean body mass, essentially getting muscle from higher protein intakes, it really started to have diminishing returns once you went above 1.3 grams per kilogram of body weight. So in other words, For this particular study, the sweet spot was really around 1.3. Beyond that, you didn't get much benefit going on. Now, there's another meta-analysis. This is a 2022 meta-analysis, and this was in Sports Medicine Open. And what they showed was that muscle strength increased significantly when you added resistance training. But if you were just going ahead and eating a bunch of protein, you didn't see any increases in muscle going on. So if you're going to aim for increased muscle, you have got to lift weights. You have to lift weights and you have to increase protein. How much protein? In this particular study, the intake was around 1.5 grams per kilogram per day. If you combine that with resistance training, that's where you had the optimal effects on muscle strength and size going on. But what was interesting was that once you kind of went above the 1.5 to 1.6 mark, so 1.5 to 1.6 grams per kilogram per day, you actually didn't have much gains going on at all. So in this particular study, the limit was really around 1.5, 1.6. Then there's another systematic meta review and meta analysis published in 2022. And what they basically said was that protein intakes of about 1.6 grams per kilogram per day resulted in higher increases in lean body mass in young resistance trained individuals. Now, in older individuals, what they saw was that there was a very marginal increase, an increase, but very, very little. So what's the bottom line here? Essentially, the sweet spot for gaining muscle with protein lies around 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram per day going on. In one of the future videos we're going to be doing, we're going to start talking about how about with each meal, how much protein can you handle and what happens to all of that excess protein.
Now, I know some guys out there take a lot of protein, but really, even those the studies have shown that you can get up to 3.5 grams per kilogram per day short term. Longer term, that can actually have all sorts of serious side effects. Now, keep in mind, this is really for healthy folks trying to put on muscle. As you know, if you have kidney disease or other things going on, those are a completely separate topic where we actually put you on a lower protein diet going on. And lastly, if you're thinking about, well, what are some good sources of protein? You always want to start with food first. So if you're somebody who follows more of a plant-based diet, what are those? Well, of course, beans, peas, nuts, lentils, seeds, soy products, and if you can't get enough through food, then there's always plant-based protein powder. And same thing on the animal-based side, there's things like lean meats, which would be more like beef going on, um, pork or lamb going on. There's chicken, there's eggs, there's fish, there's dairy products. And of course, there's whey protein for those who can't get enough that way going on. So as you think about this whole journey in terms of what you want to be able to do, remember about 1.2 to about 1.6 is really where the studies show that you're going to get the best bang for your buck for building muscle. Beyond that, the increase is really marginal and you start to increase the potential for more side effects going on. As always, if you got any questions about this topic or any other topic, leave it in the comments below. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time.